In this video, create an Azure function that will retrieve data from Cosmos DB. So I'll start off in the Azure blade, click create function, again in the HTTP trigger, call this one view investments. It'll be anonymous. And go into the function JSON file. This one will respond to get requests. So I'll remove post. Now this one, I want to have a route. So we already saw how to do a route earlier. This will be a little bit different. So the, the view investments, I'm gonna have coin ID again to say, hey, I want to look for investments that I mean only for Bitcoin or only for Ethereum, only for Solana. However, I want this to be optional. And if there's no coin ID specified, re retrieve all investments. So I'm going to put a question mark at the end, and that'll make it optional. And that's all we need to do in function.json. Then in the init.py file, I'm going to again remove all of this. And I'll bring in JSON. Then I'm also going to need the Cosmos DB client. And I'm also going to need my keys. And the rest of this, I'll just copy and paste because we saw it in the previous video. Now down in main, I want to get the coin ID out of the route parameters. If there is no coin ID, then the result is going to be none. And in that case, I'll say all investments equals, and I'm going to use the read all items method of the container. And that's going to get everything in that particular container, which of course is in this case is coins. And I'm going to turn this into a list. And that's all in the case that we want to retrieve all the investments. Now, otherwise, it's going to mean that we do have a value for coin ID. And I'm going to say that all investments in this case is going to be equal to the result of container container dot query items and query items is going to require a query and then perhaps list of parameters and then since this could need access to multiple partitions I need to set this enable cross partition query as well so let's set this up so first of all the query remember I think I said earlier that that the NoSQL core API has a SQL-like query language. So let's take a look at what this is going to look like. We'll say select star from i where i dot coin id is equal to at coin id. Now we already know that we're going to be querying the coins container. So that's what this basically is here. It's saying select every property or every key in the coins container where the coin ID is equal to a specific coin ID and this is going to be a parameter. So next I'll create a parameters list which will be a list of dictionaries and each dictionary will have a name that'll be equal to the name of the parameter which in this case is at coin ID and then a value which is going to be the coin ID that came in from the route parameters. Now I can finish this up and let's put it on another line. Let's put it across several lines. So query is going to be equal to query. Parameters is going to be equal to parameters. And finally, the enable cross query part the enable cross partition query keyword argument set that to true. So when we get down here, regardless, we're going to have so when we get down here, regardless, we're going to have a list of investments. So I'm going to put that into a list of dictionaries because there's going to be some data that I want to filter out. And I'm actually just going to copy and paste this because it's just a list comprehension. So the resulting data that comes out of this function is just going to have the ID, coin ID, amount, and timestamp. And now we've seen this part before as well. Just going to return func 
HTTP response. Dump the JSON to a string. And set the application JSON header. All right, let's go over to the run and debug panel and start the function. Excellent, here's the view investments. And let's go over to the rest book, new cell, get. Recall that right now we have in the data explorer to invest two items. Uh, one is for Bitcoin, one is for Ethereum. So if I run this cell, get back both the Bitcoin and the Ethereum. However, if I ask for Bitcoin only, then get back only the Bitcoin. And that's the basics of querying items or querying a container for items inside of Cosmos DB.